Welcome back to Half Moon Tech Labs. We're down in the brew lab again today to take a look at this fermenter, which is ready to be cleaned. Now, in the last couple videos, we made beer in the system in the background. An imperial stout is what we were shooting for. We fermented it in this uh, stainless conical fermenter. And a few videos back, I built this CIP pump. And for those of you who saw that and wondering what good is that in a brewery, well, I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to attempt to clean this fermenter today using a uh, CIP ball. So this is a spray ball. The It is the, uh, let me give it a spin. It is the spinny type, not the stationary type or the static uh, CIP ball. So what's nice about these are, uh, this has a three inch flange here, has the standard inch and a half uh, TC on top. So I can basically take this off, drop this down inside, uh, and then hook it up to this. And once we get it all plumbed up and take care of uh, our other outlets, we can get a recirculation going in here and we can use this uh, in conjunction with that pump to rinse the bejesus out of this thing and uh, see if we can get a good cleaning on this uh, fermenter. Uh, it's just a different way to clean it. And uh, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to build this pump and set it up like this. So anyway, let's uh, tear down the fermenter. We'll give it an inspection real quick. Uh, just hose it out roughly and then, uh, and then we'll get the recirculating uh, uh, pump and spray ball hooked up and see how that works. All right, let's, uh, let's get everything torn off this fermenter and open it up and take a peek inside. <laughs> yeah, nice. Smells fantastic, by the way. For real, it does. But it looks disgusting. Actually, it's not as terrible as I thought, but it still looks like somebody put an M80 in a diaper and just let it, let it loose in here. I'll take a peek, I'll show you. Mmm, yummy. Always good to give it a quick rinse before you uh, do your CIP so it doesn't have to deal with all this other stuff that's easy to get out. I want to use CIP to sterilize and get rid of all the, of what remains. All right, next we'll get this thing plumbed up and uh, light up the CIP. So this is kind of what it looks like inside there. And when I apply pump pressure, this is going to spin under that water pressure and it's going to scatter water throughout the entire thing. 
just paint the whole inside 360 degrees. So we're going to fill that bucket up full of hot water, get the pump recirculating, and then we can start uh, after a quick hot wash, we'll uh, add some cleanser and let this thing go for a bit. So this fermenter has a couple of other orifices on it as well. We have this uh, um, TC connection for the, uh, this is the beer outlet. We have another one for the thermal well. And uh, while this thing, while the CIP ball is spinning and spraying inside, it's going to try to spray out here and it's gonna make a mess. So what I do is I just put a little cap over here uh, with, a, with a piece of tubing that goes down into the bucket that serves as the return and we just recirculate this way. That way it'll, you know, this actually gets a wash too. And the second one. and help prime this thing a bit. Here coming out of the ball. All right, we'll see how this works. We have everything hooked up. We've got an elbow on the top going to the CIP ball inside. Um, that's hooked up to the outlet of the pump. The inlet of the pump is going to the bottom of this bucket, which will service the return. And we'll just use that as a sump and just keep recirculating. Uh, anything that splashes out of these uh, two holes here are going to go back into the bucket as well. So let's uh, fire up the pump and see if we can get this thing spinning. All right, let's pop the lid. We'll take a look at how this thing's done just with a cold rinse real quick. Nice. <laughs> uh, most of it's gone already. Now all I have to do is fill it up full of hot water, put a little uh, cleanser in there. I'm going to use some uh, brewery wash and uh, let it go for a while. I'm gonna use this stuff here. Five star PBW. 
and uh, mix that up. For the instructions, mix it with uh, hot water, place the water in the bucket, get it recirculating again, let it go for eh, maybe about 10, 15 minutes and uh, we'll take another peek. Okay, now that is full of hot water. Got three and a half gallons of very hot water in there. Uh, about five ounces of PBW, and uh, we're gonna fire up the pump again and get it recirculating. We'll let this go for, like I said, probably a good 15, 20 minutes or so. All right, I just shut this off. Uh, after just five minutes, just wanted to take a quick peek and see how it was progressing. It is already completely clean, but I'm still gonna let it run for probably another 10 minutes or so, make sure we get all the soils and everything out of all the nooks and crannies and scratches and whatever. So uh, this worked fantastic. That uh, CIP ball worked really, really well. Uh, pretty happy with that. All right, let's, uh, let's finish up the CIP run. Okay, let's take a peek. Oh man, <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. That looks great. Take a look at this. Absolutely spotless all around. That's great. That was just like a 15 minute run, but it, I mean, it was done in five minutes. I'm just uh, being careful. So I ran it, uh, ran a little extra, nice and hot with some PBW. And that is the cleanest I've seen this in I don't know how long. Oh, that's great. All right, well, I'm going to pack that up and this will be ready for the brew I'm going to do in the next uh, couple of weeks here. All right. Well, that was fun. And CIP ball worked great. And so did the CIP pump. Good deal. All right, thanks for tuning in to Half Moon Tech Labs. Again, down in the brew lab today. Take care. Thanks.